Hey, you guys, happy Sunday. Let me turn down my Pandora radio right now. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update Where's on my. I know, honey. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I want to give you guys an update on my HCG experience. It's been a couple of weeks. I think the last time I checked in was week three. Um, well, I ended up doing four weeks of the diet and I lost a total of 16 pounds. And um, so yay for me, um, 16 pounds in a month. That's awesome. Um, and I dropped a, um, a, a pants, a, well, a clothes size. So now I'm wearing a size smaller. Um, and well, on the top especially, um, I probably drop more like two two sizes because I don't know. I guess most of us women we have a tendency to lose weight on the top first, and then you know the hips and legs seems to be the last thing to go and the most hardest thing to um, to get in check. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys that update. I've been on phase three for two weeks and I've lost another pound. Um, it's going extremely well. My whole approach to food, my appetite, um, the amount of food that I can eat has totally drastically changed. Um, so I'm very happy about that. A majority of the time I can't even eat all my food. So, um, so you know, it was, it, it's been an awesome, wonderful experience. Um, so I've been on phase three, like I said, for two weeks. And phase three, you um, are supposed to increase your calories up to a maximum of 1,500 to try to maintain and set your weight. Um, so, um, and, um, you know, this whole process is really basically resetting your metabolism. So it's very important to, to um, not overeat um, or go back into your bad habits, you know, and then you're basically, you know, back to square one again. So with phase three, like I said, you're supposed to get up to a maximum of 1500 calories a day. And you're also supposed to um, continue, um, of course, eating your protein, your vegetables. Um, you can basically you are supposed to eat whatever you want with an exception of um sugar and starches okay so that that means no fried foods no breaded foods no you know sugar um but because i i was basically doing that for a whole month it wasn't difficult to continue that um so you know during the week i usually eat an average of about 1200 calories a day sometimes less depending on my how my day goes if i get home late I'll just make me a smoothie, a protein smoothie, and call it a day. Um, I eat a lot, lot of fruit for snacks and things like that. Um, and I eat a lot of salads. Um, the weather is finally breaking, so I'm really excited about spring coming. Um, I hope you guys are too. I'm ready to do some spring shopping. Yeah, Rory's party. My daughter's talking about birthday party that's coming up this week. So anyway, um, I want to give you guys that quick update. The only thing that has been a little difficult for me to do is to make time to work out. I love working out. I love how I feel exercising. Um, in fact, when I'm done with this video, I am going to um, go downstairs in the basement and get on my treadmill. So yeah, um, I need to get my workouts back in because that's the only way that um, I can really... Um, basically lose the bottom half i mean like i said with women we usually our weight usually goes on the top first and then you know the hips and the thighs you got to start well for me and my body type i have to really exercise like running um cardio in order to to get that um to get that in control so so that I need to start doing that. Um, and also, I do want to do another round. Um, I'll probably do it after spring break. We're going on um, a trip for spring break, so I'm excited about that. And it's also happened to be um, my birthday. So it'll be um, a really, really, really um, a good time for our family. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys that quick update. I hope you all are having a, a fabulous, hope you had a fabulous weekend and make this week a fabulous week. Um, but uh, thank you so much for watching and continue to be blessed. And I will continue to give you updates, you know, every week or every two weeks to kind of let you know how I'm doing. Thanks for your support. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message and I will certainly um, respond as soon as I can. Thanks again.